Hello guys, welcome back. Well, it's October already, and another four month we will be in the year of 2023. So next year there is a few new emulator for Android. One for the Switch and one for the PS3. Maybe around Chinese New Year next year. Well, we hope they release it. So, on this video, I'm going to compare a Switch game. Resident Evil Revelation 2 on four device SD855 SD870 SD oh, not Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 and also Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 the 865 was not with me, the MI10. 6 GB of RAM on LG B50, 4 core F3, 8 GB, Xiaomi 12, 8 GB, and the last one, Redmi 7, 18 GB of RAM. So, for the PS3 emulator, the emulator for Android, the developer recommended the lower spec for the smartphone to run the emulator are uh, using Snapdragon 870. What I heard, they already test the God of War 3. They only achieve 8 or 9 FPS for that God of War 3. I assume that the, the device they use is a stock device, the standard device. They get the Eight to nine FPS. We don't know yet. So how the modified device perform? We'll see next year, All right? On this LG B50, I'm using a custom ROM. Oh. Another update. Poco F3 custom ROM Xiaomi 12 stock MIUI 13 and the last one Red Magic 7 stock what UI is this? Nubia UI also stock this two stock these two rooted rooted modified rooted modified the graphic gpu overclock at at 3 pi megahertz why this camera cannot focus at 3 pi on poco f3 also Hey, no Poco. I have Poco F3. The GPU also overclock. Only GPU only. Overclock GPU on both of this device, and these two are stock. So, custom ROM modified. We have stock ROM at Gen One. 
all right let's begin okay the first device to start lg b50 modified custom rom vs 8 gen 1 show me the 870 after this resident evil 2 the setting on all device are the same setting you can see the setting over here maybe this device need a cooler this cooler the surface are flat and the camera bump cannot fit the cooler properly what you see the light blinking green light this Xiaomi top see the camera bump hmm. yeah let's on that This is a hot device. Good for cooking a fried egg. How many APS on this at 5.5 and on at Gen 1? Show me first. Six GB, the RAM swap four GB, RAM swap overclock GPU, the CPU are standard. Push to maximum thirty plus forty plus FPS forty at Gen One. Show me top. Can you see the FPS? 30 plus 30 at average 40 at 5, 5 30 plus also almost 40 a bit delay Head Gen 1 So delay a bit there eh? so, Not so stable the idea Forty, forty two. Just five or six FPS different, but 
time for chair. I'm using a cooler on this edge Gen 1. There's a view of what? 43. 44. 43 44 CPU almost here Now reaching 40 How about we remove the cooler on the standard okay let it be there let it heat up so we add the game to ball on this uh, add gen 1 show me 12 so add to the game this start playing we play with a game to go let's see what a different of performance we get just now 30 plus 42 fps standard stop a gaming phone different this is a gaming phone performance a peak Drop 30 FPS. Game to ball menu. See, at the moment using balance. We can boost the GPU. Someone left a message. With the boost GPU, how, how many IPS it get? And how about the temperature? Sorry about the long video so that you can choose the correct device with the game turbo 50 plus almost 60 there is a but when the temperature rise it will drop At the moment, 42 is going up. He didn't even play. Just let it idle. See, frame drop there. 20 plus. Thirty plus. 40 plus 50 plus FPS not so stable ok let it be here let's see the at 70 we're going to compare the temperature of the device same setting on all device
43 now. 43. Uh, about 43. This one maintain 44, 44, 45. 44, 45. LG D50. At 70. Okay, temperature because the thermal point as the same state. Temper, uh, the LPS keep on dropping <laughs> 20 plus on me. Not several, I guess. Temperature. Forty four. Forty-nine. Wow. Not even playing the game. Yes. Just idle like that. The temperature rise. <laughs> About at seven zero. Can you see there? FPS almost 50 just now 50 plus over here 50 40 50 at 70 this one hit up already hitting Ooh. drops if we push the hey performance to performance see the FPS will increase 55 but the temperature Real rice, you see. Let's see, maintain the temperature. This one fifty. So we fifty almost overheat. Oh, really hot. The frame really, really hot. Let it idle. How much temperature we get on the H70? 43. FPS almost 50 
This one drops. FPS drop not consistent because overheat. 45 already throttling, throttling a lot. This uh, so two point already stopped. Let's see the head Gen 1 BS So I'm adding more than five minutes now. Uh, FPS still stable. Still stable FPS. Temperature forty six, forty seven. But the FPS still several 50 FPS at 70. This 8 Gen 1 Red Magic 7 it's almost 60. Oh. Oh, this one. On balance. The GPU seven hundred megahertz, eight hundred, almost maximum. The maximum is around nine hundred megahertz because this uh, Red Magic is a gaming phone. They overclock the GPU almost sixty. How about we push to the performance? Not much different, but the FPS are stable there. 56, 60 FPS, so 52 now. Wow, this one got the fan cooler. This Poco F3 50 FPS stable. Forty plus fifty FPS. This one sixty. See a temperature rise, keep on rising, 44, <laughs> let it be there. So, the best CPU, even it is overclocked, the CPU are set to performance, GPU uh, around 15% overclocked. The temperature still okay. Not a problem for H70. Let's say we use this uh, cooler for it. Oh. 
let it go down stable 50 <laughs> This one don't have this uh, Wow It's getting hot now At Gen 1 See 46 47 even with the fan at the back see the fan there if you play for one hour the temperature will rise to 60 almost 60 but the uh, FPS are stable 60 there is another but the power consumption really bad it consume more power when you use the performance on balance uh, frame drops more or less the power uses let's see we, we can reduce the temperature no way 47 over here sure the temperature will decrease the battery so the conclusion The best CPU are at 65 and at 70 at the moment. And about that, at plus Gen 1 and so on. I don't know about the at Gen 2. So far, the at Gen 1 are manufactured by TSMC. The at Gen 1 by the Samsung Foundry Triple Eight by Samsung these two uh, a real dragon it's, a, it's not a snapdragon it's a real dragon it's hot it's burned Forty-six FPS maintain. We put it back to the controller. <laughs> what happened? Okay, this controller unplug, replug. No, oh. oh, again, green light. The IPS really stable. 16 now. Fifty-seven. FPS. Oh. 
at Gen 1 Oh, this one very fast. Stable IPS at seven zero. plus over here come on focus fifty plus red magic forty plus drops and drops from fifty to forty from 60 to 50, 10 FPS drop inside here. So, that's it. Maybe after this, I will compare uh, standard at 70 MIUI. 12 MIUI 13 with a standard custom ROM and the last one uh, modified custom ROM so four version there what the different uh, performance will they get on this H70 so that's it the video for me I hope you learned something See ya on the next video. Once again, thank you for watching.